All right, Dave, this day has to be bittersweet. I know there were a lot of last minute negotiations with Oakland, yes. a lot of negotiations with SAC, TV deal, everything. To come here today on a surprisingly gloomy day in SAC, what is this moment like for you? Well, you know, obviously 56 years in Oakland, it is sad that that time, that chapter is ending. But we have a very exciting interim play plan here for Sacramento, um, a fun stadium, an intimate stadium for fans to come and congregate and watch the A's and root the A's on until we open our new stadium in Las Vegas in 28. What does this do for Las Vegas? I mean, I think that Sacramento stepping up and helping get you guys a temporary home has to pave the way for Vegas at this point. So when I hear Sacramento say they're not going to play second fiddle, in a sense, that's sort of what they're doing is you're on your way out to Vegas. Well, you know, this is part of the interim play plan, and I think it's an opportunity for Sacramento to showcase why it's a great sports town. Uh, especially here in West Sacramento, this incredible facility, sharing it with the River Cats. They have a great history. They used to be our affiliate. So, you know, we have a lot of great players that came through here. So I think it's going to be a fun experience for the local community to get behind the team, have these great summer outings. The summers up here are no, so nice and warm and fun. So I think that's going to be a really positive thing. But by the same token, we have this 2028 opening in Las Vegas. This is an important bridge for us. Um, it provides us a good interim play option for the organization, and it's something that we're excited to partner with the Kings and the Rivercats to make that happen. Can you help them be considered a major league city after 28? Is there anything you're doing to help the commissioner's office? Was there anything you were doing in Oakland to help with the commissioner's office to say maybe Oakland could even be an expansion market? I mean, what kind of say or influence do you have at a major league baseball level? I mean, that's really a decision that's going to be in the future. That's something that Major League Baseball, the other owners, are going to have to decide what a process is. Right now, we're just focused on, you know, obviously our last year in Oakland, ensuring that people and fans can come out and have a good experience at the Coliseum the last year. That's going to be really important. Secondly, about having a really good and robust interim play plan, which we announced today, and then opening our new stadium in Las Vegas on the Strip in 28. So it's really that path that we're on, and I think – there had been so much uncertainty about the path and where we were going to be. And I think that actually was a challenge for all the key stakeholders, our fans, our staff, everyone. And now to have the certainty to know that these things are going to happen in this timeline, people can plan better and understand better where we are. And I think that's a really important step in the process. We'll do one more SAC question, then we'll get to some Oakland yeah, questions. Yeah. But first, Sacramento, I've covered this team a lot when they were the A's minor league affiliate. Yeah, right, I've right. talked to A's players that played here. They said the facilities are not adequate for major league baseball. In the press conference you hear, oh, Tawny's going to be here. Judge is going to be here. Geloff, hopefully will be a big star soon too, but what do you have to do to fix this place to make it a place that major league baseball can be played? I think the stadium is beautiful, mm -hmm. but the facilities for the players have to be fixed, right? Well, they just did a $10 million renovation to the clubhouse. And so that was just completed this off season. But that was the home not visiting clubhouse or uh, both? It's home and visiting. Um, but in addition to that, we are working with the River Cats and the Kings to add additional enhancements, both fan friendly, like revenue generating, like exciting stuff to see the game and also player amenities. So those things are going to happen in tandem. The league has been working uh, with the union on that um, to ensure that they um, are abreast of the situation. And so we're going to do everything we can together with our partner, the Kings, and Vivek and John Reinhardt to ensure that the fan experience as well as the player experience here is major league quality. And that's something that we're going to do over the next year. We're going to make announcements on that. And then by the time we have opening day, you know, next March, next April, uh, the position we'll be in that position. All right, let's turn to some Oakland questions now. What was the breaking point? I know you guys had the meeting on Tuesday. You spoke even after the meeting. Terms were brought down to a lower price. What was the breaking point? What was the moment that made you say, I mean, despite everything, we got to go to SAC? I mean, we were just too far apart. Like, it just, it was not a competitive offer. And unfortunately, that we couldn't get close enough to really put it in the consideration set. And we had a, a really viable and robust offer here from the Kings. And, you know, we had, at a point, we had to make a decision. And we had to move forward. And that's what happened. So competitive offer-wise, are we talking money? Are we talking the expansion guarantees? Are we talking well, the team well, name and well, colors? Like, what is what is not as doable? Well as there were aspects to their um, proposal that we just had no control over. And so those two things together, the speed at which we needed to make a decision, 
the other options, both here and then, you know, Salt Lake City and the Miller Group put forward an incredible proposal. They're a very impressive group of people, very thoughtful about what they did. So there were other options that that could work for the club and work for Major League Baseball. And um, obviously, we we landed here in Sacramento and. We're excited about it. I think it's going to be a good interim solution. But like I said at the beginning, you know, it is a bittersweet moment because, you know, 56 years in Oakland, all the incredible memories that we've made there, the four world championships, and even in the last, you know, five or seven years, me as president, you know, the playoff runs. So, you know, it, it is sad to see that era end, but I think we can still have a final year where we celebrate our time there and send off the Coliseum in a positive way. And we're we're hoping to do that uh, together with our fans, as well as all the key stakeholders in Oakland. There's a lot of ways I can go with this. I guess first and foremost, uh, when you first got here, I mean, you were nonstop energy, mm -hmm. constantly talking to people. You went from that to replies off, mm -hmm. to not talking to anybody. So, I mean, what do you say to the A's fans that can't reply to your posts, that you've tried so hard to fight for in the past, and now it seems like you haven't. So what do you have to say to these people that, well, that I, care I, so much? I'm hopeful that we can have and share some new memories of the Coliseum this year in our final season. How do you do that? How do you make them feel good about that? Well, we're going to have more promotions, and we're going to have alumni out, and we're going to be able to encourage people with you know lower prices and just family-friendly atmosphere to come out and have a good time and to create those lasting memories this season. This is our last season. Like, we want to send off the stadium in a positive way and you know have an experience that's fun for everyone involved and we know it's the last year but i think there can be some new mem memories created in a good way now that this is decided will there be more transparency will the team turn replies on will you engage with fans again will you talk to the people i think we're focused on putting forward a fun fan experience in our last year and we look forward to doing that with all our fans i think it's going to be very positive and you know, that, that is something we want to do, and it's going to take time. You know, it's a long season, and this is only one day, and like I said, a bittersweet day. But at least there's some finality and direction so people know. I think that is important, Casey, in terms of getting to the next place. Yeah, but that didn't necessarily answer that question. I'll give you one more here because I know we have to go. But what's happening to the A's employees? I know that I've heard that there's going to have to be severance packages. There's going to have to be reductions in staff. I, you're going to rely on the River Cats and the Kings, I would assume, for front office help. What happens to those people? How hard is it to deliver that message? I'm sure you were the one that probably had to deliver it. Yeah, I mean, obviously there is going to be a reduction in force as part of this. You know, the extent of that is not determined yet. We are partnered with the River Cats and, and the Kings on some of the aspects of putting the games on here. And we're going to work closely with our – staff and many of those staff have been here a long time to ensure either they have a spot in th here in Sacramento or maybe in Las Vegas because we'll be opening an office there soon um, or there's an appropriate severance package the same thing that the Raiders and some of the other teams that have departed have done so I think there's some lessons in that to learn um, but that is a, a unfortunate part of the situation and one that we take very seriously and we want to treat people appropriately and in the right way. Last question. On a human level, you worked so hard to get something done in Oakland. Mm -hmm. I saw the work that was put into it. Yeah. You really yeah, did you it. Were there. We were I was there. there. We were there together. Yeah, we've we've gotten way. to know each other. That. But that. but yeah. does in some way does it feel like that that was a failure? Does it feel like that you didn't get your main goal achieved? Well, I think the reality is is that we put forward an incredible proposal, a visionary waterfront plan at Howard Terminal. And unfortunately, it did not work out. And there were a variety of reasons why that happened. And I think it is sad that all three teams have left and that professional sports um, in this context will not exist in the community. Uh, but we gave it uh, all, as you know, and you saw it firsthand. And so it wasn't for lack of effort. We really were the team that tried the hardest to stay. It just it didn't play out. You know, the timing at some point, like with no different with the interim play plan, Decisions needed to be made, timelines needed to be kept, and that's why we're in the situation we're in, and that's why we're headed to Las Vegas in 28.